The KCS Adoption Guide has officially become the KCS V6 Adoption and Transformation Guide. The name itself changed slightly. A group of members uh, collaborated around these challenges we were experiencing using the existing guide, moving away from the idea that adoption is something we do once and then we're done, but it's a garden. The analogy of KCS and knowledge bases being a garden that require tending and care and seasonal changes and always looking after it really apply <laughs> to a lot of the discussions that we had and the thinking around the changes that transpired. Another expectation I want to set here is making it explicit in the guide that we need time to learn, you know, how to do KCS before we experience the internal benefits. And then we can enjoy the external benefits. I think there's a lot of conversation we had around check this box, check that box. It's linear. You did it. You're done. You've transformed. And that there was a need to really expand more on the learning of KCS and really getting good at this stuff before maybe we move forward too quickly, too soon. And so you'll see some of those themes extended here uh, in the updates. Maybe five or six years ago, there were lots of talks about how do I sustain KCS. And that maybe should have been a good indicator that maybe we weren't approaching this kind of shift in the right way. In hindsight, that was really indicative of approaching it as a checklist. If, if Well, I went through the checklist, I, I did all the things the adoption guide said, and now I'm all done. I haven't paid attention to this corner of my garden in six months. I don't understand why it's overgrown. I think it sort of takes away the expectation that like I have done the work and now the work is done and I never have to think about it again. This is a living system. System that needs care and tending because life finds a way. And so you can lay the groundwork and then you set people loose um, in the garden and they do all kinds of unexpected things. You set the plants loose in the garden, they do all kinds of unexpected things. And so really framing this as something that is that is fluid and changing and, and needs our attention. We have appreciated about the adoption guide over the years is it's, it's so practitioner based. The fact that we've added a lot of uh, pragmatism and practicality to it in, in kind of real life scenarios where you're always going to be adopting, right? People are coming and going into the organization all the time. And the new format is really reflective of this idea of that fluidity. We introduced the concept of process adherence review and content standard checklist, for example, in Adopt in Waves as simply an introduction. There's no mention of measures. There's no mention of a number now where there used to be. In proficiency, we call that out that maybe that's a target that you want to then introduce. As you plan and design, and then you move into Adopt in Waves, you know, you might have to kind of go back and forth there a few times to get it right. But once you do, you know, parts of your organization can then start to move on. And every step of the way, you're guided in a very pragmatic, practical approach. Proficiency has grown significantly, so it's more balanced with the other components. And then the optimize and innovate is really long-term focused, and we bring in a lot of the other consortium material. The old phase three was too limited. It was too focused. It's been broadened and, and better balanced across the whole thing. I would just underscore a, a couple of points. The changes reflected in the adoption and transformation guide are really much more reflective of, of the real world as we experience it. And the environments that we operate in are very dynamic. Things are constantly changing. And so moving away from phases and away from this linear progression model to a much more loopy model just opens up a world of possibilities in, in how we view things and allows us to sense and respond to the dynamic aspects of the environment that we that we work in. One of the pieces that I spend a lot of time with leadership talking about transformation in KCS is doing it right the first time versus redoing it over and over again. And as early on as we need to, uh, setting expectations that this isn't about doing it fast and getting it done. This is really a big change management effort, that this is full transformation of the organization working differently, that that doesn't happen overnight. And not any one indicator is going to tell us when we're done because we'll never be done, you know, and getting them involved in that concept of building out a plan and executing on that plan that creates that referenceability and success, little moments of, oh, we're doing it. This is working. Oh, let's build upon that. Let's get to the next level. Let's figure this next bit out. And when you start to experience that, it gets really, really exciting because you've built a structure structure for evolving forward and transforming.